and welcome to the balance sheet where we strip away the names and just talk about the numbers. I'm Mr. Bitter. Let's get crack a lacking. Taren versus Protoss and Taren versus Zerg looking really good across all the maps. Overall, Taren players beating Protoss players 53% of the time through two weeks of play. And Taren players beating Zerg players 58% of the time through two weeks of play. So, optimistic futures on the horizon for the Terrans everywhere. Interesting Terran versus Zerg talking points comes in the form of Metropolis, Entombed Valley, and Ohana. Terran players have yet to lose to Zerg on these maps across about 10 games. While Zergs have been struggling a little bit against Terrans, the ZVP story completely different. Zergs have beaten Protoss players in 67% of their games with highly favored map statistics on every map except for Entombed Valley. Koreans versus foreigners is often a very polarizing talking point in StarCraft II, and in general, the consensus is that Korean players often beat foreign players. Now, in Season 4 of the North American Star League, that trend does hold true, but it's not as wide of a gap as you might think. Uh, Korean players have beaten foreigners 17 times, but foreigners have won against Koreans 12 times. That means Korean players only winning 58% of their games against non-Korean competitors. We're tracking a new stat here at the North American Star League in Season 4, and that is the average game length on our maps. In general, games are often ending between the 16 and the 18 minute mark, but Daybreak is a pretty pronounced exception to that rule, with games averaging 23 and a half minutes on that map. Shouldn't be too surprising, as it's known to be a very passive macro map, but with a, an average game length being 50% longer on Daybreak, Players might want to make note of that. Speaking of Daybreak, it could be that longer games make for more balanced results. Terran versus Protoss, 50% on Daybreak. Terran versus Zerg, 50% on Daybreak. Protoss versus Zerg, Zerg still enjoying a little bit more success. Protoss only winning about a third of those games. But in general, pretty balanced results on Daybreak in those longer macro games. This has been the balance sheet where we strip away the names and we just talk about the numbers. If there's any other numbers that you guys are interested in, shoot me an email, ben at nasl.tv. We want to bring you all the cool stats that you want to hear about. Thanks a lot. Back to the desk.